Hello. Uh, on this little tutorial here, we're going to just um, show you how to add a few IP cameras with the uh, Dahua range of recorders. Um, as you can see on the screen here, uh, I've just powered up my Dahua recorder uh, and I plug one camera in the back. Everything's fine. Uh, but I've got two additional cameras on the network that I need to add in. I need to know the best way to do this. So uh, let's go and navigate through. Uh, the items we have on the screen uh, and indeed the best way to do it. First thing I'm going to do is just show you the config tool because um, I'm also connected on the local network um, and if you can see over here on the config tool you can see the recorder it's a, four, it's a 4208 uh, i series 8 channel 8, 8 poe in the back and I've got two cameras that are just defaulted brand new at the box um, and they both got the same IP address uh, so when you sort that out, I could do it all on the config tool, which is one way of doing it. But I'm going to show you sort of how to do it with a local monitor without the aid of a laptop. So let's get over to the local monitor. Right, the first thing I've got to do um, is I've got to sort of log in. So I'm going to go into main menu and I'm going to enter my pattern or my password, whatever way you've set it up. And I'm going to go across to camera. And you can see here in the camera section, I've just clicked search just to make sure it's picked up the right ones. There's the two cameras on my local network. I've got them connected on a PoE switch, the same PoE switch that's connected to my recorder. And indeed, uh, this recorder is also connected to my local broadband. Um, I'll just show you that a little bit there. So there's, there's the network settings. And if I go to TCP IP, there's my recorder's IP address. And currently, it's sat on a DHCP address, which is kind of fine for a domestic for now. So we're going to OK that and that's, that's absolutely fine for now. But I need to um, fix these cameras on the network. All right, so we're going to go over to camera, as I said, and these two cameras here. Now you can, because they're uninitialized, normally you would have to click the cameras and click initialize and it'll take me through the initialization process. Um, and then then we can add them to the recorder, but you can, if you want to, just click add and it'll automatically apply the cameras to the recorder, but it'll give them the next IP address that's available on the network, which kind of could be okay for you. It, it might not be, um, but it's, it's now going to initialize both these cameras. I'm just going to go and click away and then click back to make sure it's, it's kept them in. And then there goes the, the two cameras are in the recorder. So if I right mouse click away, uh, that one's upside down, of course. I need to sort that one out. Uh, the two cameras are added. You may think that's okay, but uh, I'm kind of gonna, gonna go and sort out the IP addresses here. What I wanna do is just take them back out of the recorder for a sec. And just do a little search. And there they are here. Now, if I need to know which one's which, uh, I might be able to click live and I might be able to see the live image and we know that's the one that's upside down, so that's okay. But I, I need to modify that IP address, I really, and there's a little link there. So you just click on the pen and it tells me what the current IP address is of that camera. And I need to fix it to the one I want. And I'm going to start with 21 because I know that's suitable on our network. Our gateway is correct. Um, and then we can click OK. And that'll change the camera uh, to 21. And I'm going to do the same with the other one. And I'm going to label that one, of course, 22. And if I hadn't already entered the, the admin password, I would, it would have needed to have done it there, but it's okay because we've sort of entered it once already. And now I can click them in order, I guess. I can add that one as channel two, and I can add this one to channel three. And that's us. We've got them set up on the right network with the right IP address. Um, and we'll just right mouse click back out again. And then you've got these three cameras on there. So I hope that's helped for now. Um, we'll be doing some more work with this on maybe the next video. Thank you very much.